So, the other day, my girlfriend asked me, Babe, why you got two phones? And I'm like, oh shit, she caught me. Oh, f Just kidding, guys. I am a loyal human being. She did ask me, though, Babe, why don't you sell all those phones? In this video, I'm going to explain to you guys why I have all these phones, why do I keep them, why do I have them around, why am I not getting rid of these? The answer here falls in the title. The reason being why I have so many phones, this is your cheating mechanism for the sneakers app. And I will show you guys how we are going to do this. What is going on you guys? This is Jason Tang, bringing you guys back again with the video. For today's video, we are going to explore a way on how to get around the sneakers app. I'm gonna try and get as many W's for you guys. If you guys are familiar with the sneakers app, nike.com slash launch, whichever one you guys choose to use, they do have three different types of releases. The first one is gonna be the flow release. This type of release is normally not for the crazier shoes. They sometimes can be, but normally they are more for the stuff that people don't really want it just says first come first serve whoever checks out the fastest gets it or they can use this type of release on shock drops with this method i'm going to show you guys this is key for shock drops i promise you guys that we'll get into why in just a sec for the second type of release the next one would be called leo and basically how the leo works is this is normally their main type of release it is kind of like a raffle for about two minutes. It lets everybody enter in. And this is why people will get those delayed got em pictures a couple minutes down the line because basically Nike accepts these raffle entries. And then from there, their generated system will just pick randomly who wins. So that would be called the Leo. And then for the last type of release, this is called the Dan. D-A-N, Dan. For this one here, it is a raffle. It specifically says it's a raffle on the app. It will say draw is running for 10 minutes or so. Draw will close after so many minutes. So that is called the Dan. Now for today, I am going to show you guys this method that I believe will work on basically everything. Are we hacking Nike? Are we running a bot? We are not. So that is the key thing with this method is that we are not. We're not running any proxies, we're not running any VPNs, nothing. We are just strictly using these phones right here. So first things first, what you guys are gonna do is purchase as many cell phones as you guys can or even grab old phones. I am using an iPhone 5, I have an iPhone 6 Plus, and then I have my regular phone, which is the iPhone SE. This is my daily driver. I actually recently got this. I stepped down from the iPhone 11, and I will explain to you guys in a sec why I did that. But this is my main phone, and then we have four others. I know if you guys don't have them laying around, it is gonna cost a little bit of money to pick up these phones. I would recommend, like I said, just picking up even the iPhone 5, anything that has the Touch ID. The Touch ID is going to be your best friend. I promise you guys. I promise. I'm pretty sure iPhone 5s are running pretty cheap. So even pick up the iPhone 5 or like I said, any phones that you guys are not using. Get as many of them as you can. So that's step number one. For step number two, what you're going to need to do now is you need as many sneaker accounts as possible. What that means is you're gonna have to get multiple different phone numbers to go ahead and link towards these sneakers accounts if you don't already have some made. You're gonna go ahead and log in to each of your accounts on these phones. So however many, log into them, make sure your sneaker accounts are verified with the phone number. If you guys don't have just regular phone numbers laying around that you guys can link to these accounts, hit up a friend that has a phone number that they are not using on sneakers, friend or family, whatever. Just make sure you guys get a number. Let them know, hey, I'm just trying to make a Nike sneakers account with your phone number. I'm gonna be paying for everything. We're not using your card or anything like that. 
So is it okay if I send you a one-time passcode, have them send it back to you, enter it in, and voila, you have your sneaker accounts made. Once you're logged into all the accounts, make sure you guys set every account up where you have the mailing address, the shipping address, billing address, payment information, all on there, all ready to go. Enable Touch ID. I don't recommend Face ID. I used to have Face ID. I used to have an iPhone 10, and then I upgraded to 11, and then I went back to the SE. Here's the reason why I use Touch ID. So once you have everything all set on drop day, you're gonna hit that buy button. Depending on your preference and the shoe, click whatever size you need, do it real quick, and use that Touch ID. Now you can use Face ID, obviously. It, it works completely fine. But it is proven that there is a small lag in between Face ID and Touch ID. Touch ID is my favorite. Normally, the checkout is super smooth. This is honestly the fastest way on picking stuff up on sneakers. I promise you guys that. You can use a bot, obviously. We're not talking about that. Maybe that might be faster, but your success rate on using bots, especially with just looking at the previous history on bot users, it's not looking so great. So this is a method that I've been using for quite a while now, and I've never had any issue at all picking up multiple pairs using this technique. I will run multiple phones. I also have another method that I use on my desktop for entering on multiple accounts as fast as I can. If you guys are interested, I will make another video on that as well. You guys just have to let me know down in the comments below, and if I get enough comments, I will make that video. But I will literally enter on all these phones as well as multiple accounts on my desktop at the same time without running any VPN, any proxies or nothing, and I will get multiple pairs. Now, obviously, what are we doing here? We are basically having more entries than your normal one phone or, you know, one to two or three, however many accounts you guys normally run on sneakers, on your desktop, on your phone. But at the same time, we are increasing our speeds as well as with that, one of the biggest things on using phones, I've never had any error screens, any issues really on my phones. On desktop, you get a ton of them. And normally from entering multiple accounts, I feel like that's where people will use desktops. So this method I am showing you guys is the fastest, but also the smoothest way. One thing that I do recommend though, is just to be safe, just to be on the safe side, which I'm not really quite sure if it's an issue yet or not, is I would prefer to go ahead and kind of jig my mailing address. And what does that mean? When I, when I say that is instead of lane, put L-N, put L-A-N-E, put L-A-N, put different variations of your mailing address that you can think of, as well as maybe switch up your name. Make sure you switch up that billing information, that shipping information, and I like to try and use multiple different cards. So use as many different debit cards, credit cards, prepaid cards. For me personally, I have had multiple orders go through on the same card. So I'm not quite sure if that's something that's limiting or you know ex disqualifying me from my entries. It seems to have gone through in the past. So if I do have to, I will use the same card, but if not, I try and use as many different ones as I can. Now, after picking up multiple phones and following all the steps, you guys eventually will start seeing successes like this, 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 and last but not least, we have a package here, you guys. This here was from a recent drop. We have the Just Do It tape on here, so you guys know it's from Nike. Let's open these babies up. To answer my girlfriend, on why I have so many phones. Let's not count the SE. Let's count these four extra phones that I have laying around. This is about, they're iPhone 5s and iPhone 6s. So I don't know, maybe this is about $300 worth of phones. $300 that I can keep for every single drop that comes, unless Nike all of a sudden bans Touch ID or something like that. But if I keep those, these phones are basically my investment. It's like purchasing a bot basically, okay? Now, I recently hit on these right here. You guys can see we got a pair of Kobe's. I recently hit on one of those phones. Let's jump into this and see what we have here. I'm really excited to see how these look. Rest in peace, Kobe. It's devastating what happened to him. Crazy story. 
but his legacy will live on. And let's take a look. Damn. Wow. These are amazing in hand. Wow. This is like giving me the chills because this brings me back to when Nike basketball was huge. These look amazing. The details of this. These, these shoes are fire. Wow. You guys want shoes like this you guys you guys need to be following this method i promise you guys maybe you guys are already doing it let me know if it works for you guys your guys' success rate is gonna go up if you guys follow this i'm not gonna guarantee of course that you're gonna get shoes right away but i guarantee you in the long run you will get more success than ever before hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i do appreciate all of you guys that have been watching make sure you guys smash that like button for me if you guys found this video helpful make sure you guys hit that subscribe button as well go watch my sneaker reselling series that i recently started it's called getting rich off kicks i will have the playlist at the end of this video or you guys can go on the channel down in the description below and check that out and like i said if you guys want another method on sneakers to use on the desktop Leave comments down below. If we get enough comments down there, I will show you guys the process in the next video. This is Jason Tang. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, you guys.